perspective mm. on marriage ni mm. squeezy most of them don't work and this is my theory and mm. i stand to be challenged yeah. by anyone who can mm. uh most marriages don't work because of the basis of how the relationship start yes squeezy people confuse long term relationship mm na the convenience of kuongana yeah yeah una get mm. like umepata dem na dos nae mmezoeana mnapata mm. one month imekuwa two months imekuwa six months imekuwa four years alafu mkipata mtu hii hapo katikati you have to be together for the kids yeah but the foundation of why you need to be together is not there mm. Mm. una get and then um, people people fear to be lonely mm. watu wanaokopa kukuwa peke yao and this is how most people end up in wrong relationships mm. una get like una get, you, you 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 are so afraid to be by yourself that you end up Settling. settling for mm. you round yes. off to the nearest mm. Mm. yenye mm. network yako imeshika mm. uh, low hanging fruit mm. right mm. you will say that mm. now this is the problem because unapata most people are together because of the circumstances that if they can overcome mm. you are done yes. like uh, labda dem akona chali ama vice versa ju huyo ndio ana provide mm. but who dem akipata nje yake ya kujisustain mm. we pia kwenda yeah, yeah. get mm. and i think that also explains why watu wanasemanga kuna madem o oh, ukishapata do level fulani anapita na wewe yeah, yeah. una get mm. afadhali ya kuwe single mother Oh, we will kufa na nini because mm. mm. the reason walikuwa na wewe in the first place mm. ni they just needed your mpenyo ya yeah? mm. survival mm. and that's why unapata pia in most cases we have people who raise children mm. and then at a certain age kila mtu anakutoka mm. una get for the wrong reasons yeah. uh, another powerful thing i've interacted with lately ni the happiest people in the world are the people who learn to live with themselves mm. and they are comfortable with the idea that was popata mtu they are Misawatu. okay mm. ama they are okay that they may there is a chance they may end up alone yeah una yeah. get mm. that way you will know when the right person comes along mm. una get you are able to make a choice not b- due to circumstances mm. like sex finances una get ama kuogopa loneliness mm. una get you are able to make a choice because this person compliments you and those are the marriages that work mm. the other marriages that work are the marriages that are based on proper hypocrisy ama mm. hypocrisy mm. ya yeah, unajua ku cheat unajua kuna cheating professional mm. Mm. like they are professional cheats yeah. in the relationship context mm. how utawai mushika akia nani mm. how utawai mm. i don't know okay men are better but they get caught at the funeral yeah. like Eh. I think as I think long as you got away with it over my alive. dead body. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. As long as you got away with it when you are alive huko shikwa. Mm. Only shika maiti si mimi. Bas yeah. bas. Mm. And then uh madem unapatanga I know of someone mm. who baba yake mm. stepfather wake to date mm. anajua ni biological kid wake. Mm. To date. Yeah. But yeye kama mtu hii Mm. Ana jambo na madhake alishambiwa. Mm. Eh? Oh, but at least I protect the dad from that that sort of heartbreak. The mother passed on. So Yeah, the mother passed and on. And I believe yeah, I think she protects him. Mm. Cuz uh, another that's you, a heavy burden. You know the commercial like the one of the most interesting kwan kwan uh, like uh, controversies ni Shaiski yani stuko lifuatilia gawen Kaparo was divorcing the wife. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Ole Kaparo, the original speaker. So when you're divorcing the wife, do you know the wife actually said, "Wacha tupeleke watu hii DNA ndio tujue ni wagani wako?" Kaparo was like, "No." And I was like, "This woman is crazy. Why mm. would you do that?" Like how angry are you that you want Kaparo, Ole Kaparo, someone who's super rich, I'm assuming he's a dollar millionaire, to disinherit his kids? Mm, cuz this woman's probably anajuata yako na do so unamwambia yeah jo unafika mm. galevo lingine like yeah. mama tulia bana yeah, yeah like mshoni nini yeah but uh, mimi mwenyewe nilienda gaseko na one of the kaparo kids and that one looked like the dad cap so even goshwa talikuwa atuende tu dna lakini unajua ukipata wewe ufanana na budako kwa zile za eh walienda dna ama alikataa i think the dad refused it's the dad who refused in most circumstances because eh, mm. the dad was like i've known this as my kids all this time how is it aka like these kids are over 30 40 unataka unafanya nini so i found that to be super crazy unajua after now talking of family what are to rewind kidogo what's that bongeje yako so mm-hmm. uh, uli grow up uh, wapi embu 
Yeah, yeah. Yani embu embu iko kwa system yangu paka I can't mm. just check it out. Mm, mm. Nilitoka embu 2010 but nikitaka ku unwind. Yeah. Na piganga two time nasema naweza enda huko ni chill. Mm. Nifungua akili nirudi. Like yeah. hata nikifikiria nataka kufanya kitu. Mm. That's the first place I think of. Mm, mm. But uh kwetu ni CI massive. Yeah, yeah. Place ni game. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. so tutabonga juu ya game mm. uh, before but niko nataka kusaka ku understand. So uh, this is Embu, a family of how many? Uh, at, we, we um, I have a brother and a sister. Yeah, yeah. Max na sisi yangu anaitwa Dion. Yeah. But hatujai kwa I don't remember a time yenye tulikuwa watatu. Mm. There's always a cousin mm. or cousins yeah. home. Oh okay okay. Okay. Mm. So who's the first one? Mimi Oh, in your first born. Yeah, oh, okay. That's that's interesting. In your first born, Mazi. Sana za takujua how did your game end up in Embu? Mm, I was born in Embu like and you know, my, my no, parents were working. Budako. Eh, mzai wangu alikuwa na wakuko. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. So Buda na mother wote ni wajaka. Mm. mm. Eh, yeah. oh, mm. mimi niko nafsi maybe Budako mm. alipata but, but, uh, uh, Embu. Nini, uh, uh, no, no, Budangu ni wote ni wajaka but Budangu tumegura kitwambia mother yetu ni msafiri. Eh, eh. Yeah, oh. Oh. Na tu. do. Mariangu anaitwa Nyambura. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Mpaka leo like. Mm. Yeah. Oh, na na Buda. Nyambura. No no. no. Ama yu ni Badananga accent ni ni hata bro yangu mm. msemba sema umeongea na Nyambu like mm. yeye yeah, ito hivyo. Oh. Yeah. Uh, is this a joke that your dad started and went no, too no, far? No no no. Mm. They anaitwa hivyo. Um. Eh. Yeah. Mm. Juma uh, yangu na do ni mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's good <laughs> that she knows herself. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Yeah. But but see at do vibaya, mm. do v mm. like kutumia do vizuri. Yeah, yeah. Like si tunajua ngo kitumia mzai do. Mm. Yoni yake. Juu yeah. alishafanya party yake ya yeah, yeah, yeah. But madhi ukimtumia do hata umpatie do ngapi? Yeah, Utapata oh kuna kitu ameweka kwa fans. Mm. Oh amefanya nini? Mm. Like eh. Hey. Hiyo hey, ni kitu moja mushinda kwa like was it just a generational thing? But I feel like your generation your mother zetu was mm. very good in money management mm. and even our fathers because I always feel like also when I look at my mom like my mom was always like that like very straightforward he itafanya hii he itafanya hii he itafanya hii walikuwa compared mm. to maybe the modern girl mm. growing up in the modern world where atafikiria maybe like I need that new dress I need those new shoes my mother zetu ni kwa ga very focused on the bigger picture Uh, I think pia ni instinct ya madem juma dem wako na gift flani ya mm. wanajua kuangalia mtu wako na do but ni ngumu kujua dem wako na do eh yeah, yeah. eh kuna dem yeah, yeah, kuna madem bado wako na hiyo unaweza kana dem hivi na ako na mita moja mita mbili mita tatu mm. but always mm. guess eh yeah, eh yeah. always yeah, guess na hiyo yeah. so uh, buda alikuwa fanya nini huko mm, em carpenter eh yeah. alikuwa fanya job ya mbao mm. eh yeah. oh, so ndio lini nike alafu kaenda mm. alisetola jembu cuz unajua this is a different language um, like so now did he end up like, even understanding the language can your dad speak in embu alikuwa amena alikuwa meka nai for long time na unajua mm. mm. kikuyu is almost almost like also a national language yeah, yeah, like yeah. mtu yote yako Kenya ukisikia word flani unajua ni kisapere yeah, so yeah. ukisikia kisapere kidogo ni mm. rahisi kublend in mm. yeah. so i think it wasn't uh, that much of a big deal at mm. kwenda embu kublend in mm. eh yeah. but mm. embu na kikuyu ni different no 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 no, no. Yeah. Eh, kikuyu ni kiembu yenye mtu anangoa mm. mm. Oh if you ask me that's my opinion mm. kuna watu wanaanza kuwa offended but that's that's mm. that's it mm. so which which one can you speak wewe unaweza ongea kiembo ama kikui kiembo oh kiembo mm. vizuri kabisa because mm. na assume kienda chuo saa that was not the language no 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 no. Le. no 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 eh hey, maze kama kuna place metropolitan legit mm. ni embo mm. and eh hey, embo, embo by the i think you may need to see that for yourself like mm. unaweza unaweza chiki tribalism for ile kwa mbali mbali but i don't think mtu ame grow embu anaweza kuwa na problem ku blend in nai mm. i don't mm. think so mm. yeah i don't think yeah, so yeah, yeah. kwanza um, embu at embu town mm. ai mm. but sasa ulienda kukienda standard the language because i'm assuming that's the language that was spoken in the neighborhood sama hata watu tunacheza na wao na eh, expressions kiyo. za expressions za vile wao wanaongea mm. mkiongea na mtu hii tukicheza kama watu hii mm. eh, the language ya kila mtu mama yake anamuongelesha na language yao right yeah, yeah. eh hey, you pick on hivyo pole pole mm. and i don't think there's a moment that oh mazeni nimejua kiembu size mm. ni language ya 
uki grow vile unajua Kiswahili ndio unaijua mm-hmm. especially at a place like that yeah. tukicheza home but shule embu urban primary school Kiswa. kwanza unaweza kwa mshamba sana ukiongea kiembu shule mm-hmm. uh, high school sasa ni even worse sasa mm-hmm. ile ni uh, i hope that culture by then nilikuwa huko nikawaambia nika i hope that culture still maintains mm-hmm. kama kuna place nimeingia hivi na mm-hmm. siku hiyo na tribalism in this country mm-hmm. ni ngovi your boys like mm-hmm. the school oh, okay like by the nai nimeiona wapi but ndani ya shule mm. like the school mm. uh, i give them credit sijaiona mm. sijawaiona by the oh. i did not i've mm. never experienced Co- that. that that's interesting because me, me i'm always honest uh, na ambe gatu nilenda ga starch and even in starch i remember seeing tribalism you know Move like this when, when people think about starch they think about this national school mm. but i always remember this very like kuna time uh, kuna msenishai pande na story yake uh, alikuwa na pronounce morogoro like mm-hmm. with a very low accent so it said morogoro mm. so i remember like there's this one time he got into an argument with uh, a kamba guy i'm sure this guy forgot about it because mm. nights years later we are much older uh, etc we are adults and i remember this guy telling him you're talking like that because you are uncircumcised no mm. and i'm sure he'd never seen his penis mm. but he brought it up because this guy was luo this is a national school what uh, what try to so with that, uh, that i remember that clearly kabisa days how was it kwa assembly hall uh tulikuwa bado form 1 and that stayed with me hmm. so for you to say that ngovio did not have i'm like ah, maybe you didn't experience it i'm sure there's someone else no, who I experienced it i feel like tribalism is such a it's in our f- the fabric of this nation <laughs> that <laughs> ngovio tulikuwa na so much to deal with mm. kama boys mm. that i don't think uh, the issue of circumcision i mm. think mm. and it's interesting now that you mentioned it yeah, yeah. it never come ko, never came because unajua mm. mm. shule yetu kila mtu whatever the hell yeah. umetoka hiyo yeah. jina hiyo jina yenyewe sasa utumia kwa uncircumcised yeah, ilikuwa yeah. ya kila mtu yeah like hiyo inaitwa kevesi yeah. kila mtu kevesi kila mtu eh yeah, yeah. like ado kwa nini ni kila mtu mm, alafu mm. sasa we also come from a place ya unaona kama sisi mm. growing up in embu though sisi hatukuenda hiyo juu ya culture or anything yeah, yeah. ilikuwa strictly juu ya hygiene mm, mm. get mm. like ilikuwa strictly yeah, yeah. juu ya hygiene yeah. but you yeah. see now jina yako when your name betrays you you see you can't go out showing people your penis <laughs> so people will always assume you have it you understand like even this guy will na party na story yake i don't know if it gone through the process because mm. a lot of right now so many lugos have gone through the thing mm. but unajuaga like if we get into any sort of argument that will come up unaona so nakumbuka you ki come up with that guy and then i remember also like one other one other guy right now he's based in the US stamtaja out mm. of he was still young mm. whatever whatever but i remember also he also got into an argument him now he's cute got in an argument with another lugo and that came up and this is a national school this is hiyo wacha tu niseme kwa watu is the rare boy center mm. you see this is a national school and i could see this bullshit so i respect him of you and i respect your experience but i feel like this is part of our fabric so much that M- memory yangu ina kuanga sharp sana yeah. if i had experienced it kama hiyo kauli na sababu maybe huko experience but kuna kamseka kwa ngovio sasa hizo kwa wameniambia yeah that would break my heart yeah. hey, that would break my heart because mm. i think the the crew that we had um i remember i think t- tulikuwa na nicknames za wase mm. based on place umetoka yeah. na kumbuka some of my friends are on my page mm. at your facebook sometimes nikikutana na nao ni banta hapo na hapo mm. mm. uh, we we never we never we never had conversations mm. za wewe umetoka wapi mm. z mm. like e hey, wajaka uko hivi mm. uh, tumei tume discuss za hizo yeah. hizo yeah. izo za, za uchawi na kuchekeleana za yeah. yeah. osg wapi kuna kuanga na uchawi mm. nini hizo hizo zimeikuwa but ni banta za not on a derogatory yeah. sense yeah. Yeah. but on a fun sense mm. and i think that also hones comedy juu kama mm. mtu anza kutukana in a way that mnacheka nyinyi wote yeah. Yeah, that's, that that's should good. be studied mm. yeah, that should good. be studied so unataka kuniambia nini hawana cuz like i know like kikuyus have this term for lose the kitu is mera na no, 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 but no, no. i've had mera 
kuna i think ni yana niambia mera mm. can also stand for other tribes but mostly i think it's took with the lowest cuz of mera mm. omera so now mera mm. There is no that like derogatory term maybe lolo wa itwa even in an argument nah. outside school see uh, na see kwanza the the place that i f- find myself like mm. ile sasa yani mi ucheka na naanguka ni tuko na group yeah. ya my boys wa ya yetu ya tuko nine yeah, yeah. of your boys mm. nikisikia anga pia zangu zimeshuka mm. naingia tu huko mm. kama mm. kuna conversation najua we have maintained that relationship yeah. because whatever we disagreements we may have had tukiwa shule mm. zilikuwa strictly because we were boys mm. Mm. but haikuwa anything to do and i respect oh. ama mm. we were a special group i don't yeah, know yeah i think you are special you are actually special no, I, me was amaga like those those two nenis stuck with me i can't remember the guys specifically kuna umoja ule siwezi kumbuka who he was insulting but i remember him Majiki mm. the guy based in the US. This other uh, like Kamba guy like even I've met him later we as adults. Most probably it's something that he forgot. Najua. And that stuck with me. A very few things stuck with me from huge Yoshu like cuz pia mwaga na misa wa na memory mbaya. So mimi naambia ga say like one of the things that st- stuck with me of course was like as a form one. Uh, there's this Kikuyu guy who'd come like but he was raised in uh, Kitale. So amekuja hajazoea Sheng bado. So tunacheza 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 alafu ngochi ani kasema eh check you mse so bila alisikia hivyo in his head is alisikia check you mse so alikuwa like nani umeita mse wewe wewe ndio mse acha so i i i remember such but mm. this circumcision thing i remember it so much because even it reached a level where kulikuwa like na tusi tukioga tuko tunaoga na open open whatever like open showers eh? so shower inatoka juu maji mm. baridi mm. and now you'd find like uh, some luo guys would end up now just showering with their ngoda mm. so ana anaingiza mkono anaosha but now he does not expose himself till alafu sasa kuna wale walikuwa na wanatoa tu unaona just like four skin is there yeah jali <laughs> najua like fuck you but, whatever but then hiyo pia ni mm. conforming like what makes you think that your way is right na ile ile si right. Zi ya nini? Zi. Um unajua it will be very bad mm. to judge yeah. Muslim ex- extremists. Yeah. Not Muslims. Yeah. Who kill other people for their beliefs. Yeah. Yeah. Alafu wewe una hold ati sasa hata wewe unajua there is no difference between wewe na hao Muslim extremists yeah, not yeah. Muslims extremists wale yeah, watu wa yeah, misinterpret me najua. Uh, kwa sababu they don't at you 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 would go to the extent of killing someone because they don't believe in, in what things. you believe yeah, yeah. like you una, sasa wewe umekasirikia mtu on behalf of god that mm. you want to punish them mm. because they are not doing what you Thinks, think god yes, wants people yeah, to yeah, do yeah. una get mm. i think alafu pia that also comes unajua pia level of uh, information like ukiata ulize om say like why do you get uh, circumcised they wouldn't mm. know yeah, una yeah. get mm. like i respect someone uh, we respect tradition and everything mm. but i think there's more props to someone who follows um teme mtu anafanya kitu juu anajua mm. kuliko mtu anafanya kitu juu watu wengine wanafanya yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah. if you can defend what you do because of information you have mm. for it rather than other people doing it i respect you mm. okay yeah so i need you will remember like shout out to ngovio high school if you didn't go through that bullshit because once i like i went to a, a national school and i saw it like i saw the power of tribalism and it stuck with me na mm-hmm. like, like like this is and then the same school i always give it credit because that's the same school that also showed me that you can get a leader in any tribe like nikiwa yo chuo i saw people from turkana who are excelling people from teso that, that was the first i uh, as the second place ni on amteso so kuna hizo like the positive elements of diversity i saw diversity mm. but i also saw like uh, tribalism so mm, nini zeti sijaiona primary yeah. primary school was rough bana oh primary school hey, yona eh manzi was rough eh yeah. 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 cuz i knew hey, that was point. bad mimi mm. nasema high school oh, okay. high school was uh, yeah, so cuz primary now you are an outsider eh hey, primary primary school outsider bana so, but kuita? not by with most students i have friends yeah, who, also, mm. i have friends who did not care mm. from class 1 yeah. sisi tumetoka kuru moja like class 1 mm. to class 8 mm. almost the same group Mm, mm. almost the same group mm. so i have friends who tumekuwa na hiyo click when mpaka leo 
uh, two of them we still talk moja anaitwa mukiri moja anaitwa maura we still mm. talk yeah, today yeah, yeah. Get? Mm. never cared never mattered yeah. uh, but there's moja, always that one as well. yeah. there is always how mm. and then uh, my class teacher when mm. alichukua from class 4 hey. the four years i think ali slow down kidogo um ali ni defend in class but there that was unlikely ali ni defend in class um class 5 going to class 6 mm. ali make decision moja ili save life yangu in mm. the sense that mm. uh, i had been transferred to shule ya ocha kidogo mm. and then when i came back there was a question of whether i should repeat class but akasema no she trusts my abilities mm. i should just continue it's a she yes and she was tribal yes yes she was but i think it was oh. a point of no information because mm. it was more on politics mm. juu uh, anytime you raise your hand to jibu swali because mm. mimi nilikuwa mm. na nilikuwa napenda like teacher kisema kitu mm. nilikuwa naweza penda nilikuwa na point of view especially mm. kwa class ya science yeah, yeah, yeah. so nikisema kitu mm. In fact we had this confrontations a few times za mm. nimeinua mkono nikasema mm. teacher hii si i thought ina maanisha hii mm. ananiita raida mm. like hizo je tunakucheka iko nini wasiwa kana ujinga i know it's not funny but it's funny yeah. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. yake haikuwa beef na mimi yeah. ilikuwa beef juu ya a high yeah. level ya yeah. politics yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh okay that's mm. that, 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 that's that 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 but at least that. never brought up circumcision or that bullshit nah yeah. no sisi wote before class eight hakuna mtu alikuwa hey, oh, okay. tulikuwa tuna okay. msemo mmoja amekatwa yeah, yeah. class 3 yeah. yeah. na hey, tulikuwa tunatoka na no, tulikuwa tunaenda kuiona like, yeah, 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 like free time mm. tulikuwa mm. tunatoka shule tunaenda kuona kitu ya okay, <laughs> chenzi mteje alafu sasa yeye tulikuwa naamini alafu that that was a problem with us like in mm. primary school tulikuwa na belief mm. kutahiri made you strong yeah, yeah. so by default yeye ndio alikuwa anaweza daro yote mm. like he could beat up everyone yeah, yeah. like yeye yeah, ilikuwa yeah, yeah. mm. Niko tempted sana kumtaja because his story unamtaja tu sijui ni culture gani sijui ni culture gani sijui ni culture gani yenye wase ukatwa alafu wanakujengea kadeki kengine hapo chini sijui ni gani kuna kwa gana hiyo ina kwa ndio irafu ina kwa for pleasure ya madem mguzaguze eh it's for nini ndio dema afraie a lot of this shit ni juu ya madem yeah so no serious yeah So kwa nyama kana bakingi dimbili si ni kanyama fulani kama basi eh kana kama kama ka kasaba ka whatever eh nikakusaidia tu madem sio kazi ya madem ni ngumu they need those whatever stimulated it's not like a spare yeah it's not a spare ni ni tu ya ku tuko naenda kuiona like eh tuko naenda kuiki okay think about it like when we were kids we used to do a lot of in quotes lgbt stuff cuz mimi nakumkaga nao sisi haikuwa ga cuz this was now an urban school haikuwa circumcision ilikuwa ga mse akipata fudhi lazima kama onyeshe so ilikuwa ga mse ana kuonyesha tu hapa juu anainua short kidogo iko like budo umeona mwache you to here around me mimi una cheki jo budo so si ilikuwa ga hiyo haikuwa hiyo ati kuende kuonyesha na nini si ilikuwa pia ya hierarchy mse mse mwenye amekatwa anapanda juu like we had this thing like tulikuwa tuna tuna check list ya mm, mm. list ya kuna kuna order yeah, yeah. ya tunajua motembei anaweza piga kila mtu class mm. alafu eric anapiga eh, mm, mm. anapigwa na motembei peke yake njage yeah. eh, <laughs> anaweza piga asi wengine so hiyo mm. hierarchy so i think yeah. so kama say kama say kadoga kiwa saka size kana kama kana unasema kanaweza piga hawezi kasho kitu hawezi kasho kitu so uh, <laughs> i think in in class 3 nilikuwa kama wa sita hivi yeah so vile nilip, i think nilipanda one rank mm. after ku fight na boy anaitwa Nderito mm. nikapanda nikakuwa i think wa tano hii hey, kitu ilikuwa inanijaza hiyo ilikuwa sasa hii but uli fight sasa kabla uende for the procedure no hapana hii si ni class 3 bana yeah, yeah, yeah. procedure mm. ni uko class 8 class 8 yeah. eh, so um, nikapanda rank moja mm. So hiki tu ilikuwa inani jazz mazi. Mm. Nilikuwa mimi nilikuwa na keep list yangu updated. Yeah, yeah. Like it was the only list I was proud of because mm. ya noise makers ilikuwa ina come na punishment. Yeah. So <laughs> hey mazi nilikingia Darun nimesema mm. kwanza hata kwanza ulikuwa unaita roll call ya watu unaweza vaa. Mm. <laughs> uh, mm. We Nderito sina kuweza. <laughs> hey, unaeka una check. Like, <laughs> Where are we now? Like um, Nderito is a job. Alafu na jeki tumbaya ni nini? Tuna 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 check tuna check alafu una confirm mm. na alafu inakuanga ready 
mm. if you have a problem tunaweza square sasa hiyo <laughs> list kwa compact <laughs> unajua like alafu tulikuwa tuna hesabu boys peke yake tulikuwa tuna assume tulikuwa tuna assume tulikuwa tuna no no tuna assume unaweza tandika madem wote yeah. yeah. and i think siku moja nilichokesha madem na kuwa hesabu wote pamoja mm. alafu juu nilisema karibu na msemtiaji mm. karibu na msemtiaji mm. nikasema nini e, uh, naweza uh, si wote alafu Mm. Naweza naeka nini? Na hesabu na, mademo wote. Mm. Eh mademo aliamua anataka kusquare na mimi wote man. <laughs> na hii kitu inakuanga one by one. <laughs> <laughs> eh hey, manze, hey, tulikuwa na adventures hepa. interesting and in fact by the way, most of the jokes me make mm. zinatokanga from experiences kama za shule. Yeah, Kuna yeah, story yeah. flani nilimake ya shule yetu mm. ya primary. Mm. Na watu wakakuja kukimbia nayo kama joke. I think the first person kukimbia nayo ilikuwa chipokizi. Sijui mm, kama mm. alisikia from someone else but yeah, yeah. Ni ilikuwa story flani ya mode flani ilikuwa Mrs. Getari yeah. wa nini tulienda kuripotiwa. Tulikuwa class yetu tulikuwa tunajulikana mm. ndio inakuanga na wasewa daku kabisa. Yeah. Kabisa like sisi ndio atuko sangi noise maker sa tuko sangi nini. So tukafika class 7 we made a pact mm. na madem ya imazi tunaweza kuwa kama wase wa east mm. ilikuwa south mm. is there a possibility tunaweza kuwa kama wase wa east yeah. mwalimu akuja at least akose no smakers mm. so we had a meeting with mm. the girls tukasema niaje we are calling for a truce so kutoka leo hakuna kusemana mm. we can be uh, equal opportunity sinners mm. like you be you we be us mm. tukakuwa us and the truce lasted for a week paka tukakuwa comfortable So siku moja the class teacher comes akasema ai judi uko sure hakuna noise makers mm. hakuna mm. eh hey, hakuna wewe eh karo kuna story a mm. a uh-uh. mwalimu ali feel something is off mm. alafu boy flani anaitwa rama mm. i think pia ata yes you keep in touch once in a while mm. akaulizwa na teacher ramadan uko sure there is no problem yeah akasema z alafu sasa ile tu ya ku make the story more believable mm. akaongeza tuka adlib mm. kakuambia mwalimu mm. teacher tumekuwa poa ni vile girls wengine wa utusumbua tu mm. time ya break akifikiria mm. amecheza safe e, kumbe kumbe amelipua time bomb mm. akubuka ngamali nimekaa kadem kanaitwa karoka aliduka akasema oh teacher no ni boys azin ilikuwa unaona ile kitu inaenda kulipuka mm. ndio ikalipuka akasema hata boys wanakujanga shule na radio oh dema anasema hii anasema hii oh mwalimu kusikia radio aha hebu leteni wekeni bag kwa meza <laughs> na hiyo ndio siku boys fulani anaitwa ndaru amenletea radio nione mm. oh ah, uone tu eh tukarudi tukarudi ile place so tulikuwa anga tu na hiyo <laughs> daro yetu from class 1 ilikuwa kama Tom and Jerry na madem eh 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 hiyo uh, story nikwambia ya something that actually happened mm madem wali, tuli, tu, sasa tulikuwa na division hivyo like nyi, nyi kweni nyinyi si mm. kweni sisi mm. so tukaenda kucheza pe mm. tukakuwa si ucheza si ball ni moja tuacheza na ball my boys peke yake mm. e, so tukicheza ball tuko tunataka madem wengi kwa timu yetu tukigawana juu wanatuuza mm. like mm. madem unajua at that time bila ati, si ucheza ball daily yes. madem wakuja kucheza ball wao kukuangani kurusha mguu Yeah. akikutana na ball sawa akikutana na wewe sawa <laughs> like wao piga kila kitu <laughs> like ina kuanga ku swing tu mguu ku swing tu mguu <laughs> kaenda waka tuseti mode akakaa mko assembly and at that time i don't think tuli 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 tuli, tuli think about it that much until i started think uh, doing comedy mode akakuja kwa assembly hmm. kasema eh, class seven boys nasikia kwamba mnanyima wasichana boro <laughs> 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 mm. oh <laughs> eh. <laughs> eh. <laughs> Yeah. from today onwards mm. nikisikia any girl ameda kwa kiwanja time ya pi akarudi kama hajashika boro ni mimi na nyinyi <laughs> that happened yeah. and at that time siku yona hivyo <laughs> so nikuja ku perform hapa hiyo story like as as it was yeah. Yeah. club hearts oh <laughs> but uko nasema chipu chipu alichapaje kwani well, i think ilikuwa ushaiona zile story unapiganga wewe unajua ni story cha ilikuwa happenia yeah, yeah. Ay, alafu unasikia ah Mm. Oh okay mm. eh, but hiyo ni nini jo hiyo ni ni wow, 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 wow. <laughs> but, but these were experiences they were so uh, beautiful especially those teachers with funny accents ama mm. teachers with whatever yeah, like. ilikuwa gani ni because they make this innocent mistake ile inajua baadaye inakuwa ni some very 
very funny stuff eh, but sasa nini um hii jina dr kingori okay uh, before that bongejo dr kingori so jina yako apart from raila hiyo jina yako ingi <laughs> ya gava ilikuwa uh, felix felix omondi ya yeah, felix omondi mm. so hiyo omondi ndio aka decide ka kwa raila so ulikamaje kukua kingori kwa nuli ya mwa kutumia kingori eh experience yangu ya primary school ilikuwa mbaya sana tribalism yeah, so yeah. when i got an opportunity um tukifanya set books kuna boys wangu walisema nga wajaka na wasabiri hakuna please watai kutana hakuna yeah. please watai agree yeah, and yeah. i think that moment stuck in my head so when i started doing comedy nikajiambia mm. can you really tell like is tribalism yeah, an tell. actual thing mm-hmm. ama mm-hmm. Eh, you can unaweza jua kama mtu ni mjaka msabiri ama ni mkali mm. bila kukwambia right mm. So ama ni identity mm. identity that we put on ourselves. Mm. So when I niki perform uh, nilikuwa nilikuwa na artist name nilikuwa mm. Kings. Mm. So boys wangu fulani alikuwa toka Dandora anaitwa Bugs akasema kila mtu anaitwa Kings anaitwa Kingori. Mm. So that at the back of my mind si kwenye oh. nilienda kuperform mara moja mara ya mm. kwanza mm. nikaulizwa jina yangu nikasema ah why not use a cute name hiyo Kingori mm. sio mm. as Kingori mm. right and then and then uh, nione if i create a brand mm. ama an identity someone would be able to tell like mm. au ni mjaka ama au mm. ni msabiri mm. right mm. and true to that the no, reaction is always the same yeah. uh, ukiambia mtu uh, jina yako ni hii mm. wanashtuka because of why it's all in the mind cuz some say kutumia mpesa iko like at us niko shock na so stop na ku call like buda niko na kutumia mpesa jo hii jina na yeah. oh eh hey. yep. it makes sense i love it shows how like tribalism is this thing we've created because mimi mimi mwenyewe nitakwambia ilikuwa last year mm. like ndio nili discover like eh um sisi because mimi kuna jua hiyo character will create ya yeah, dr kingori yani kwa jua kani kama pere fulani dr mm. fulani mm. so that was, that was such a powerful way to alafu unajua pia i've had people who experience tribalism in school through students never through a teacher So you are you are going some next level that's some mm-hmm. traumatic mm-hmm. yeah but me nikona uh, sasa na kuanga na wasi wana ni watch times 3 ama wasi wana interact na mimi times 3 mm-hmm. one kuna wasi kuna wajaka mm-hmm. au kwa eh manzi kumbe we ni wetu ah manzi yeah, yeah, yeah. alafu kuna wasapiro kwanza kuna mtu aliye ni jamia vile mm-hmm. alijua jina yangu mm-hmm. ajaye niongelesha like <laughs> like legit ili mhat mm-hmm. yeah. like mm-hmm. manzi we si wetu yani yeah. oh eh, alafu kuna watu wa mm-hmm. they don't care yes right our interaction ni mm. content do i mm. like you as a person yeah. that's what matters mm. to them mm. i get cuz your situation is as interesting as ojwang ojwang alikuwa msapere ah ondie kinyuka kuota wa gamsapere si ndio so there are these people who've transcended mm. that tribalism thing like ojwang owned it so much that you know yeah, that's the same yeah, thing you that's, that's also you've nini but it shows mm. you the power of art and the way art can Mm. art in the letter vitu zile mm. hawezi nini mm. but uh, interaction yangu na information mm. imefanya siku hizi na understand why people are tribal yeah, ni yeah. kugad to territory ku feel uh, any yeah, yeah, resources yeah. alafu yeah. yeah. ngo mbega to go back to history find out we didn't come together because we wanted mm. british east african company blah 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 i hope i'll miss part one so acha uh, ume ume sem, ulisema tukuulize jua your money laundering cousin so oh, ah. you money laundering yako <laughs> ilikuwa ni kazi yangu inaitwa Lena. Lena? Yeah, yeah. Lena alikuwa na tumeenda na yeye kuna mti embu inaitwa Kariaria. Mm. Mti yenye ukigonga inatoa maziwa. Yeah, naijua. Tiki so Lena amenikujia mapema. Mm. Akaniambia amegundua mm. hiyo Kariaria iko na magic. Mm. Anaokota mawe, anarusha, anapima, ikigonga itoe maziwa kitana anaokota 10 bob. Mm. Anachukua mawe, anarusha, anagonga. Mm aki aki ikigonga toe maziwa anaokota five bob mm maze lena alifanya ni shinde kwa kariaria mm asubuhi mpaka mm. jioni maze si kuokota hata bob eh ndio nagundua what really happened mm. lena anajua sisi ushinda na yeye mm okay mm. so sasa kama si ushinda na yeye alikuwa amepinch do ya madhaki mm so ndio ni kwe mimi naweza simama ni mdefend that mm. do yake ni safi mm. do yake ni miujiza mm-hmm. lazima ange get pande yangu covered mm. like sita question mali ametoa do eh yeah, yeah. kwa eh yeah, like akirusha mawe ana drop five bob ana yokota fresh oh so yeah. he do it hapo karibu mm. na wewe never even three you aka five bob at least na na na, 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 mm. na but 
after you experience after kujua what happened mm. ndio nikakam ilinipatia ili lifelong lessons mm. like usiwai compete na mse mm. juu ya doa kona nayo yeah. mm. yeah. get Because as much as you can defend the idea ya eh by the way mse anakuanga na bahati mm-hmm. hakuna anga kitu kama bahati mm. una get na unaweza waste a lot of time ukijaribu ku make do vile mtu mwingine ume make do <laughs> mm. but kumbe wewe ndio ujui the in ya how that money is made yeah yeah una get so instead of me wasting a whole day nikijaribu kuokota do something that is incomprehensible yeah, una get yeah, yeah. it's a lesson i carry in life today mm. Kama hii njia inaweza make do does it make sense mm. but kama hii inaweza make do na ina make sense and it's my style i can make my money that way i can make my money by ways that i know are ways that people make money not by my ideas of what i think should be should be mm. or how other people make their money mm. Mm. Yeah, but yo ne ne yo kuzaka lakini mekapitia na eh because bado yeye na kwambia toa rasa nje Yeah. Yo lahini nini? Um alafu uh, kosa kitu kingine pia sikukuuliza. Ije na wicked the wicked edition. Uh, is it uh, did you have any reggae influence? Because of course mimi nimsendi niko napenda reggae sana. So kitu kiwa kali na kwa the wicked. Ah, uh, it's a cocktail. It's a cocktail of wordplay. Wordplay like uh, the weekend edition yeah, like yeah. sasa wicked. Yeah. Alafu wicked pia around the time when we were I was coining that phrase ilikuwa mm. kitu ya kitu noma mm. kitu mm. wicked so yeah. it's a cocktail of that yeah. Yeah. Mm. oh okay okay mm. hey, so uh, nataka tu bongeje wa vitu kadhaa zile nishasikia kwa interview zako zilikuwa very interesting mm-hmm. uh, one of them was uh, something Jerry wa migu said yes um, she talked about the motherhood penalty mm-hmm. and i felt that because you know there are those things that a woman will say and as a man you know you on the wrong but somehow you stay with it and you cause alikuwa na bonga juu the way like when women give give birth um kuna zile vitu zinachukuliwa go like natural it's up to them you have to take care of the kid and he, she gave the example of wewe ukisho up na mtoi wako at nation center everyone would be so happy to see the kid and they be like you're this great father and people would volunteer to stay with the kid while if the mother appears with the same kid no one will volunteer after mm. kwa like one year tafuta whatever so what did you feel in that moment when she was saying this mm. did you feel it was something profound ama kwa kwa ilikuwa cuz i felt like i didn't ad- uh, agree with some of the things she said but that motherhood penalty thing i felt like it it hit the point to it's it's very deep it's mm. very deep what she said mm. and it goes um to expose how much to normalize tabia yeah, mbaya yeah una get mm. like parenting is a dual responsibility yeah una get like contribution kwa life ya mtu hii ni ya both parents mm. right so watu wamesha kuwa okay sana na absentism ya wazazi mm. una get mm. mpaka mzazi kukuwa present is a surprise especially the father uh, yes. so the reaction mm. is just is just a societal response to uh, kai mazi eh, kuna watu wanazafanya hivi mm-hmm. yes like what they are supposed mm. to do uh, and um, parenting is very complicated and i understand it now mm. most people are broken most people are broken because um, kuna jordan peterson aliandika kitu yeah. fulani mm. ya he has a very powerful chapter kwa book yake inaitwa 12 rules mm. for life yeah. do not let your children do things mm. that make you dislike them Yeah, yeah, right? Mm. Now that's where I interacted with how delicate a human being can be at the initial stages of growth. Mm. Kuna kitu ali explain akasema, unaona watu hii watu hii wao kwa watu wa moment. Mm. Like ukim unaweza unaweza anaweza kukasirisha. Kuna watu wao kasirikia watu hii kutek kitu personal. Mm. Right? Una jam cha ukweli, unamjamia kama mtu mzima, but yeye anasahau haraka. Mm-hmm. So unapata your kid gets something to celebrate a few moments after anakuja kuonesha yeah, but you're still angry. Eh hey, oh. unamuonesha hizo maasira mm-hmm. that affects them. Mm-hmm. Ana register. Una get? Hata subconsciously. Mm-hmm. So ana grow either na ushaipata mtu aliambiwa kitu ni wewe ulisema mm-hmm. mtu anaambiwa kitu akiwa mtu ina change life yako forever. Yeah, yeah, for the yeah, worst. Una yeah, get? Yeah. Most people are not <coughs> patient enough to raise a child yeah. get mm. na aka explain why a child needs to be brought up by both parents mm. get so uh, to normalize 
watu kutokuwa hapo na the greatest pandemic ni watu wanana stroma za kutoka wakiwa watu hii yeah. una get mm. zenye zina manifest wakiwa watu wazima because of careless uh, having of children mm. Mm. una get like mm. ku get una get mtu hii kama haujui what it takes mm. ku raise mtu hii mm. una get na njeri wa mwigwe akisema hivyo it shows and it goes deep mm. kuonesha vile tume lose the plot yeah 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 kabisa mm. alafu nini so we nini relationship yako na budako ilikuwaaje na relationship yako na watu wako are you nini cuz always give the example of i've come to learn so much about my my father mm. after he passed away but uh, the few times when alikuwa na interact na buda and it was very civil was when he was drunk when he was drunk he'd be this very approachable guy he'd like one at stories what what but now after he passed away I was being given these stories of how much of a hustler he was this is someone who if he met the kibakis he'd have been a billionaire not whatever not he was always around the wrong people but looking for money he tried all like really try kila kitu but sasa he was so serious that la like, like the man i met had given up like he tried everything and everything was not working out it was he didn't have as many opportunities as me he could not make money while in the house he could not make money from the internet so he had to go out there and going out there meant he ended up in jail he ended up whatever 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 sindio but i took interact that much so i know more of my mother than my father wewe nini yako ilikuwaaje my both my parents have uh, made immense contribution in my life yeah, yeah. my father is my greatest teacher Yeah, yeah. my greatest teacher mm, juzi mm. nilikuwa naongea na madhi yangu naambia mm. mzai wetu mm. ame pay the price mm. so that mimi na bro yangu mm. we can know better yeah. una get mm. like um, i've heard i've seen him kuna siku moja nilikuwa na hiyo teenage rebellion ati oh niaje uwezi ni show nini mm. paka kuna day nilimwambia something very rude mm. ati mm. ndaenda kugeta id bila yeye he doesn't have to sign for me that's one mm. of the most hurtful things nilimwambia mm. mm. what was the fight about Eh, nilikuwa nafiltua na nionea mm-hmm. i didn't like him alikuwa oh, anaingia okay. natoka mm-hmm. then siku moja mm-hmm. i accompanied him mm-hmm. to his place of work mm-hmm. nikacheki vile msema namtukana mm-hmm. ndio get do ya yeah, yude mm-hmm. mm-hmm. na mtu anamtukana ni msi mwenye na that age alikuwa 25 mm-hmm. i'm 25 i will mm-hmm. give him 25 26 and your dad was much older mm-hmm, of course mm-hmm. my dad was much older because the age difference between me and my dad me exactly 30 years mm, mm. Oh, okay. exactly 30 yeah, years yeah, yeah. No get mm. so i think at that time he must have been 50 or mm, 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 no mm. yeah 50 50 mm, he could mm. have been 50 yeah yeah kitikim sana msomea yani bila eh wewe as in alimtukana eh mm. it's they feel pain kama hiyo siku mm. kutoka hiyo day mzee wangu akikam home kama ana do na understand cuz mm. najua akikuja hata na nyama amebai giving 100% i head. can't imagine what he had gone through mm. to get that mm. and uh mzai wangu aligrow in a household yenye walikuwa nauza pombe right mm. Mm. so madhi yangu ananiambia nga eh, before upeleke customer pombe ukifika anakuambia uonje mm. get mm. so hivyo akapata he alikuwa anakunywa sana right oh, oh, oh. mm. mm. alikuwa anakunywa sana mm. Mm. so my dad is my greatest teacher and i say that with all that means mm-hmm. one time eh, nilikuwa nilikuwa na pressure ya shule mm-hmm. eh, watu walikuwa na vaki kiatu fulani inaitwa butter prefect mm-hmm. kiatu fulani nafungwa on yeah. the side yeah. i yeah. really wanted that shoe dear lord i wanted that shoe nikapea mm-hmm. bu yangu pressure si tulikuwa na vaki kiatu mpaka ishe mm-hmm. and this story ili ni teach lesson see then not very long ago mm-hmm. so nika nika kapea mbu yangu pressure kiatu yangu inaisha nataka butter prefect mm-hmm. a few months go akakuja na kiatu. So tukicheza nikamwambia dada amekubalia kiatu nikakimbia home. Mm. Niliangalia kiatu nyuma ya kiti nikajiambia mifungwa na gazeti. Mm. Hiyo si butter prefect. Mm. Mshaye una ile kitu ati gazeti imefunga bike alafu mtu yeye anasema mzee I hope you ni PS. Mm. Una get? Mm. So that was a moment like there was a moment like that for me. Mm. Kwa hiyo si butter prefect. Nikaanza tu kulia mazee. Mm. Na mwa sira. Mm. Nikaenda nikafungua. But hiyo kiatu mm ili ni bojo ilikuwa ya kamba mm. but every other thing mm. ilikuwa kama bata prefect mm. the soul the nini the shape mm. of the shoe but nilikuwa nataka bata prefect eh, eh. na from what i know 
mm. my dad had bought that shoe for 300 shillings mm. which Na, is a lot of money uh, then our rent was 350 mm. so i now i know in retrospect the kind mm. of sacrifice he had mm. made mm. i didn't care about that did, did he get that violent time. with you at that specific no, no no no, no. Ah, he, okay. never I, he, he never did he never did my mother would <laughs> like no no no, no. <laughs> he never did yeah, like ye ni ule msewa ni sawa tu ye take hizo vitu zote in like ajai ngangana na glory at yo az he doesn't mm. care i and think that he drowns that he used to drown that in alcohol like mm. yo mm. like on a precision ni kitu ilikuja kunishika siku yenye ni sema oh now i want to do different nimeenda nikachukua toy wangu nikawaingiza bata kila mtu tafizi niko hapo na ngoja eh mzee simshtuke bana simchangamke bana this a tafizi mimi amjui tafizi they did not care at all they did not care at all and for me nikameja the treatment ya watoi wangu on tafizi na the an appreciation yangu ya yeah, the sacrifice my father made to buy me a shoe mm. equal to the rent and my inappreciation ya yeah, it was not what i wanted yeah yeah una get mm. lessons za mzai wangu zi unfold hivyo so kama sasa hii uh, um nimekam ku understand uh, how this thing works mm. uh, why we appreciate some things and why we don't kuna kitu inaitwa the paradox of choice yeah, yeah. na hiyo paradox of choice ina maanisha unaona kama sasa hii kuna past a certain number of things ukipewa uchague let's say for example nikikupea 20 pens mm. ah acha nikupea example na mobile phones mm. nikikuja na phone deadly 20 nikuwekee hapa mm. nikwambie chagua moja hata kama utachagua the best phone kwa hizo 20 Mm. you still want uta uta feel ah mazini ngechagua wengine bana mm-hmm. ah ningechagua wengine like was this the only phone ningechukua kuna zingine ziko mm. kuna zingine ziko ili ningechukua ile nyingine so utapata as much as umechagua kitu poa hauta i appreciate because akili yako iko kwa zenye uliacha yeah, yeah. una get mm. and that goes to uh, how we value things eh uh, you know explain why say in most relationships people would rather like unajua kuna, kuna social media unaweza get madem wengi wa super ma unaweza get machali wengi so mm. ukichagua chali mmoja ama ukichagua dem mmoja yeah, una yeah. feel it's easier hata mm. mkikosana you're not willing to sort issues with yeah, this person yeah, yeah, eh, u, ni raisi ni raisi kutafuta dem mwingine mm. than ku sort issues na, na dem ama chali mko na yeye mm. una get mm. so lessons za mzae wangu zinakujanga zinani teach kitu kama how you appreciate things mm. when i interact with the concepts that explain some of the incidences zenye tumekuwa nazo mm. eh madhi yetu naye uh, i think she would have made uh, one of the greatest action movie stars like madhi yetu alikuwa Cynthia Rothrock like mm. si tulikuwa tunaenda ku watch tukienda ku watch movie ya Cynthia Rothrock mm. tulikuwa tunaenda ku watch madhi yetu <laughs> mwenye ame make it mm. Eh madai tu alikuwa tu verb. Wewe. So nini unaje kitu fani ni? Hiyo jina nini? So unasema madai yenyewe alikuwa na warodho. Si ndio madai tu ni rodrock by the way. Eh, alikuwa na warodho mbaya. So so kijaka ku rodho ni is whooping someone. Alafu tulikuwa tulikuwa unaona vile squeeze nini watu wengi kwa oh you have a dinner date with your parents. Madai tu and we appreciate this because Madhe tu alifanya hauwezi kuwa na kitu hauwezi explain mahali umetoa. Yeah, yeah. Juzi alinichekelea sana nikimwambia kuna time nilikuwa nimebuy brick game. Mm. Nilikuwa naichezea chini ya blanketi mm. juu akikuona nayo. Atakuuliza umeiba wapi? Unaona ile mm. ya declare your source of wealth. Mm-hmm. Hey! <laughs> like si tulikuwa wale wasewa mtu anaweza kupea kitu ukatai. Like mm-hmm. yeah. like hautachukua juu yeah. unajua. Yeah. Una get? And by the way it explains why watu wengi wanakuangana ma, ma vitu zenye ume get sio in the right way mnanga pc ya kuzi enjoy mm. madhe tu alicreate your environment kama uwezi explain mali umeitoa ai wachana nayo mm. ai wachana nayo tu oh. alikuwa alikuwa hiyo alafu nini so buda uh, aliweza ku overcome hii alcohol addiction mm. kama juzi watu wangu wame hang out um, home nilikuwa nga maybe nilikuwa na jembe nilianza ku understand why uh, mm. kitu kama problem ya kunywa pombe hezi solve tu na kuomba peke yake mm. ni zile zinataka u take action yeah. amejua ku control poa sana mm. sahi oh. nikwa worry that oh mzee watu hii labda anaweza tii nini mm. zii 
alijua mm. control excuse uh, kuju kuna time nil, alikuwa anataka sana kuacha mazi mm. and that's one of the greatest lessons uh, any aje usiguze kitu wezi control mm. so mm. alikuwa anataka mazi but nikimcall una feel Yeah, yeah. akiwa tayima ze ana feel ameni let down mm, na get mm, mm. squeeze ah we can talk anytime we can mm. so so you go embo ama ali ujakan ko cha ya oh eh hey, alafu you your relationship na alcohol considering buda i don't drink because mm. um mm. Uh, i kn- i don't have to be supervised yeah, yeah. siezi penda kukua natumia kitu yenye mm. i believe t- this was a choice we made kianza yeah. comedy wasa kwa nsema eh mazemi si zingia stage kama sijakunywa kitu yeah, yeah. mimi ni nataka ku find out mm. how i can perform bila sijakunywa kitu mm. so mm. sikuwa nataka kuwa in a place where something else is in control of who i am i like to make the choices mm. una get like nataka kukua sitaki kukua ati una shake juu na need una get yeah, i want yeah. to be able to survive anywhere mm. una get and that's that informs part of the decisions the why i do not Yeah, okay. Not, ju, si sitaka kukua, mzai wetu, mzai wetu ameni teach. Usitake kukua place yenyewe. Hauna control ya, unaweza wish, mm. unaweza fanya different but hauwezi. Yeah. Eh, yeah. yeah, cuz uh, nini, muombe gatu like one of the things ile nili why get from Wobu Dal kwa anaitwa Griffin. Alituambia gayo story ya uh, don't kitu yote ile like your father ama your mother has struggled with. Usijaribu cause most of the zapata kuna vitu waga genetic even addiction can be genetic mm. that means that the fact that your dad struggled with alcohol utapata woki meat you'll struggle with it like most adults struggling with alcohol utapata there is someone who came before them ali struggle oh, now wale wa struggle nayo tukaweza kivi unaweza kunywa tu hivyo utapata there is no like mm. family yenu kuna hiyo history addiction ndio Mm, yeah. not not to a certain yeah. level yeah because mm. family yetu mm. uh, yoni shaya mbega uh, like uh, mm. like mm. my uncle struggled with it whatever struggle yeah, so don't touch it yeah uh, so it was that conscious decision of what if yeah i try and then i'm uh, like me end up nikiwa mm. addicted to and mm. it's something that I, i don't want to find out mm. najua uh, so still talking of some of the most interesting conversations you had was also with this girl um and to see swirinya kanu Mm. So Swiri Nyarkano uh mostly umemu nini mara mbili na yote na with Mr. T yeah? ah Pastor T that is yes yes yes, yes. yes. and uh, the funny thing is I'd want conversations with both but I felt like this girl has so much knowledge it's just that she wants to spit out kila kitu I think cuz she's been I don't know if you felt the same but nikona feel kama she's been muzzled for so long that when she gets a chance attack you could stop Because she wants to give you all the information so at least when do research really yeah, no, that's I what i felt from so. the outside looking no, no, maybe ili mm. uh, but i think it's just someone uh, and i think uh yeye mm. na miguna wako na one thing in common yeah, yeah. 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 una unaona ile ku explain like mm. ku explain kitu Mm. ukiona mtu ashiki ni kama unasikia kukasirika mm-hmm. eh hey, yeah. inakukasirisha that mtu understand point mm-hmm. yako mm-hmm. and it's not a bad thing it's a ni ile feeling ya eh uh, uh, why usemanga mm-hmm. ati wakati umeshiba mm-hmm. ukiona mtu anakula sasa huyu anakula kwa nini <laughs> like unashindwa <laughs> ku understand ni nini yeah. ni nini wewe na food azini hawezi <laughs> kabila kukula <laughs> yeah, wewe umeshiba so yeah, una get yeah, yeah. 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 it's it's that it's that ka mm. ka phenomenon maybe oh, okay. it's that ka yeah yeah because liliona guy hiyo nini but she is very articulate so it's i think kuna mtu alikuwa amemsuggestigi that una need kumtafuta she is fun she's a, she's a fun person she's a yeah. fun person it's mm. interesting uki have nice conversation uweze kusikia perspective yake mm. eh, like ni, ni mtu mnaweza engage yeah, 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 like yeah, ni mtu yeah. she's open minded in that if you mm. come with stronger points mm. you may convince her yeah, yeah. get mm. but it will take a lot of research mm. ku convince ku yeah. convince from a point of view alafu pastor tp ya mm. amefanya uh, pastor tp ya ni the exact person mm. but researched on a different field yeah, yeah, yeah. kuna places kwanza walikuwa na agree kuna places kwanza ah no mm. no <laughs> Cuz like one of the most powerful things uh, she said uh, was the story ya vile suto mia gaita mia as far as Timbuktu ile akini ni cuz unjo Timbuktu Timbuktu ndio julikanaga for the original universities yeah. so of course if you are coming from Europe mm. Timbuktu is very far 
So that's Ali put your like he tried to explain that. Yes. I found that to be really good. Yeah. I think that I found to be very interesting was when Vilalikuwa na bonga juu ya Raura Thornetek. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Thornetek mean the the dying is hard. Mm. And this Raura this is where the both of you will feel like uh, both of you had different meanings of the name Raura. Mm-hmm. So me the first time we interact na ijina Raura. Mm ilikuwa mother like my mom used to misuse that term mm. so she'd be like she'd say the way a uh, certain raura came to nairobi and he could not do one or two things so from my mother mko na raura ni fala so but the statement ni fala kukufa kwake ni kugumu does not make as much sense as vile sasa yeye mwenyewe cuz yeye alikuwa anasema ni coward raura to mean coward so coward the dying of a coward is hard mm because uh, the coward always goes back home which mm. is very true because i'd say a lot of people are not even happy with the government like and have not been happy with the government since kuzakanu but a lot of them are at home and alive because they were cowards because moi was not messing around na toa kichwa nje tandikwa risasi wekwa so i found that they need to be super mm. eh uh, by the way when you say it like that it makes sense like mm. if you are not threat If yeah. your knowledge is not a threat yeah. nobody cares about you. Yeah, I yeah. think it makes sense from that perspective. Mm, mm. But it's interesting. When these problems people talk about say mm. how do you explain that in 1960 mm. what were going to complain about unemployment? Yeah, yeah. And we're still doing the same. Yeah. I think um it comes back to the leadership and the funny thing is i remember kuna nini like a lot of ruto interviews aki interview alikuwa anasema hivyo the problem is not the country the problem is leadership and i really really want him to to prove that so it's six months i think is too short to judge him because he's been there what well, is it six months since september back uh, feb that's like six months eh because uh, september up to december 12th that would be okay five months so maybe it's If, too soon mm, but let's please. hope Yes. yes i agree with um what he is doing mm. ni i hope he means it when he says mm. the police will be independent mm. the judiciary will be independent mm. because if they those institutions <coughs> are independent <coughs> and they function as they are supposed to yeah right yeah they will act as a deterrent to mm. some of the vices that pull this country back yeah yeah forget uh-huh. but do you think do you honestly think mm. uh, if you are in his shoes mm. that you would have a judiciary that can prosecute you as a president no na ufungwe no that's why naweza sema like so far i've not even complained about the police but according to me the Miss Aizi he for cost cutting I just opened the CJ's office at state house. <laughs> I feel like the judiciary right now is the most toothless judiciary ever and I'll give this this is my explanation eh? uh, people always forget Ruto Ruto's prosecution for ile land ya Mteshi started under Kibaki not under Uhuru Uhuru never stopped it it continued and that's when he was fined. Sindio? So everything that st- started like all his friends while walikuwa na prosecute ya time ya kibaki hizo cases zote zimeanguka that means even maybe one of the reasons ah time ya uhuru maybe one of the reasons why he felt uhuru was not uh, loyal enough is because uhuru never stopped his case and i feel like uhuru gave us this false sense of the independence of judiciary like the only time i saw uhuru mad at the judiciary was uh, nullification. Le- a nullification otherwise yote mwingine yote he kept away mm. he could have saved his friend he could let have let me tell you let yeah. me tell you what i think mm. uh, my explanation of president ruto yeah if you follow his story ya kuingia politics in the 90s i think mm. in 1991 mm. mm. akaingia placement akacheza a second fiddle to jirongo kidogo mm. eh cheza cheza mambo yake remember politics is not uh, yeah. a holy game yeah yeah akaingia akacheza mambo yake 1997 he vied for mp Mm. never lost an mm. election mm. which means he understood the game mm. Mm. you get mm. uh, 207 he wanted to run for president but took a back seat hey. he read the mood mm. right mm. Uh, 2013 he wanted to run 2012 mm. he wanted to run read the mood mm. hakuran mm. sindio mm. akaingia second to 
uh, 2007 he was second to Raila towards mm. 2013 2012 he was second to Uhuru mm. like he played the servant on a get he played mm. the servant in both cases he played the soldier in both cases yeah, yeah. but when it came to his shot mm. whatever circumstances i don't know yeah. i don't know how systems work mm. mimi ni observation yangu independent mm. when he took his shot mm. alipata bullseye Yeah. Now, now he is president. Yeah. Una get? Mm. We will not claim to be holiness ya nini nini. So I don't know. Mm. What you give him credit for is he is a person who understood the system. Yeah. And akaiwai. Um I come from a place here. Yeah,